in terms of, of writing it, how did how did you make that all work? Who decided what was going to go where? How did you all collaborate on this? Um, well, we, they sort of did a couple of verses, and then we sort of did a couple of verses, and we sort of merged them together to create one powerful poem that will affect everybody that, that like listens to it, and so it, they'll be able to understand it with a writing within our own points of view on this situation and have you all written more poetry since has it inspired you to write more yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay well i think um let's hear the the piece now this is called her story and it's a team from balakameen uh off you go history his story his as in not women or others men let's talk about her story They say feminism is a thing of the past, but they don't know the whole story. A girl wanted to learn, but they shot her with one blast, and they just stood there in glory. Millions across the globe have no education. Millions experience sexism across the nation. We can't join in the boys' race. Because they say they have a faster pace. A girl would die for a life like yours. And you're not grateful too? Be thankful for what you have. We'll live a better life than they ever can. Young young girls get married early and are at risk of being abused. There are still places where girls' learning leads to a death sentence, but abusing your wife gains social acceptance. Young girls get married early and are at risk of getting abused, yet they say it doesn't matter because it's not on the news. Women need education and women need rights. And And we we are most definitely definitely going going to fight. fight. That is absolutely incredible. Well that done, everybody. so good. So good. And it's just wonderful to hear young girls being so aware of the different issues for, for women. Just fantastic. So what, what are the main points that you mentioned in there? Just just sort of give us a, a rundown of some of the issues that you tackle in there. Um, well, the ones to do with people in our situation are that it's kind of considered pe- less women take physics or sciences and maths because they're considered they're, they're considered male subjects and we think that's a really stupid thing because there are only 32.4 percent of physicians are women and that's because they this gender stereotypes are just horrible basically and what are some of the things that have really stuck in your mind um, from what you've, you've been putting in this poem grace um well like the situations around the world are very different to what we experience ourselves like it's like opened our minds up to what else happens around the world and not just to what happens in our school because other people are in such worse situations than us and we take a lot of stuff for granted but writing this poem really it, like explored our globe ourselves if that makes sense like to see how other people actually live 